Uh, let's play this Bufflin level. <laughs> we should stay on daylight savings time. Oh yeah, that I totally agree on. Who wants to be, who wants this non daylight savings time? Whoops. Yeah, dude, I'm already so pissed off for how, how ridiculously early it's gonna get. Mm, I wanna do that. Yeah, I, I'm like how ridiculously dark it's gonna be at five o'clock on Sunday. Like I'm already super annoyed about it. Oh, I know what I need to do. I see, I see, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, chat. I need to hit the turn block. Oh, and then jump around, yeah. Uh, well, like, there's parts of Indiana and, like, isn't it Arizona or is it New Mexico that just don't do daylight savings time? Yeah. And there, but there's, like, a parts of Indiana. Yeah. I, for one, welcome my robot self-driving overlords. You're not, none of you are better than a robot. That's why they're taking her jabs. You all would get smoked by a T-1000. Don't even get me, you'd get smoked by a T-800. All of you. You couldn't even handle a T-800, none of you. I don't know why we're having this discussion as we're sitting here watching my video get live, magically get live beamed. You know, something that literally couldn't happen 10 years ago that is now a complete standard in our life. As we're watching my video get live beamed straight to your house, f right to your fucking phone. And then I want to spin jump on that, don't I? Dropping frames, literally unwatchable. You're young, it shouldn't freak you out. My general thesis though, is that while I wish, I wish, I do wish that we thought about the consequences a bit more of what a cool what a cool section i do wish we i wish we thought about the consequences a bit more of technology um but that doesn't mean we're gonna be able to stop it yeah i think you know uh once we get to once the metaverse is a thing <laughs> Oh, I wanted to jump on that twice. I don't think we used phone books 10 years ago, but 15, definitely. I have a friend that has a Tesla and she wasn't able to hit the brakes. She ran to red lights and a stop sign drove up her front lawn and shut off the vehicle. Um, coincidentally, my Cadillac does that too. Oh shit. But yeah, like, dude, the car, like a new car now, like my, it's a, it's a 2020. We got it last year. So before that, I, before that I had only owned two cars and they both were old. And then we get this one and I'm like, I'm like, dude, it's like literally impossible for me to get an accident in this car. <laughs> it's got cameras everywhere. Like any new car is massively controlled by software though. You know what I mean? Like my my car auto brakes when I'm about to hit something. Like if I was about to hit something, my car would auto brake. Yeah, it tells me all my blind spots, yeah. The rear view cameras, oh my God. 
You've had 20 cars and you're 37? I've had... Okay, let me... I'll, I'll run through all my cars. I had a 79 Oldsmobile Tornado, first car. 480,000 miles on it. Uh, I had a 92 Cadillac, second car. I had a 97 Tahoe that I bought off my dad. Oh. Oh, and then, okay, and then you jump on that. I see. I had a 2006. I had a 2006 Denali that I bought off my dad. And then I have the one I have now. It's significantly harder for me to get into an accident now than it would have been back in the day. That was, oh, son of a dick. My first car cost me $300 and my second car cost me $1,500. Yeah, I bought them all. I will say my dad gave me a, a probably a, a little bit better deal than Blue Book would have. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Really? We're doing this? Oh, shit. Which car cost me my self pride? None of them? Eh, maybe the tornado. Really, we're doing this. Oh, I thought it was way more hits. Your sister had a 79 Tornado? That was a cool ass level. Alright, let's play this Donkey Mint one. We rented, we rented a Wrangler. The fuck? Uh, we rented a Wrangler one time drive around because we never drove or run around and I was just like never again what is ignore ignore me chat Ignore me, chat. What am I doing here? Championship. Okay, now wait. Okay, now what do I do with this? Yeah, I get that, but like, what do I do with this? Oh, fuck, did I just fuck myself? 
I don't get it. I mean, even so, like, even hitting the POW, I don't think, does anything. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure. I know why that happened. I totally know why that happened. Damn! That was cool. Uh, Girthy Poops. No, you would not want to do a re-grab re in that situation is what you wouldn't want to do. Damn puzzles. Why, why you make this donkey mint? Why you do this? I'm so confused. I know, I wanted to play hard Kaizo levels, not this shit. time. Hey, Donkey Mint is not... Shit. Damn, I had it. I had it. Okay, we got this. We got this. Donkey Mint is not holding your hand here, man. No. All right, you can't fuck around. Now it's kind of Kaizo. This is kind of Kaizo. It does have a little bit of Kaizo. Dude, I off-screened it. Aaron Rodgers had a crazy interview on the Pat McAfee show. What happened? Oh, and then, oh, okay, okay. Oh, and then another one at the bottom. Uh, Chris LTD, thank you for the gift sub. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, this is fucking sweet. Is this not? This is dope. This is really cool.
Bog. Bog. Um. Oh shit. Damn it. 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 I missed the good stuff. Oh, I, it's Link's crossbow training. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Okay, this level's really fucking cool. Shit. We just pound? Yeah, we just pound pound it. Sometimes you just gotta pound it, you know? Fuck. Fuck. This is fucking sweet. Best level of the day? This level's pretty good, yeah. This level's pretty good, dude. Let's do this. I'm worried I need him, though. Oh no, he's just there. That was cool. That was a cool ass level. That was a cool ass level. <sighs> Tortuga? In the eye of the Tortuga. Alright, let's play Tortuga. We'll do this one. I should have been able to hit that guy twice. Hmm. Like, I feel like that guy should be lower, right? Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, okay. And then we'll do that. This is fine. And then jump here, then we'll go here. Oh, I needed that key. I needed that key. That's going to be fine. Oh, can we fall off? Oh, damn. Any chance mentioning your city will make it faster? Um, if people, yes, if people, a bunch of people all demanded one city, I'd probably make it happen, but it usually doesn't work like that. I'm just going to whichever city has the highest sub conversion rate. No! 
Oh, oh, I see. I see. Oh, underneath, there's a one way. Have I had Pizza Hut Detroit pizza? No, but I mean, Pizza Hut's pizza kind of is Detroit style. And I more meant that Little Caesars is a Detroit company, not that it's, you know, representative of what Detroit pizza tastes like. I mean, like, physically, it's physically a, a Michigan company. The owner of Little Caesars owns the, the well, did before he passed away, own the Tigers and the Red Wings. Excuse me. I used to love Little Caesars growing up, but I think it's so gross now. You don't have to convince me to come to Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta is one that I can confirm 100,000%. We'll be back at Battle and Brew. 100,000%. Right, it's $5 pizza, ready to go, like, I know, I know. You know what you're, you know what you're getting in, yourself into. Oh, I didn't realize that one was gonna shoot right there. Oh, okay. I'd rather have like Godfather pizza than Little Caesars. I actually like Godfather pizza though. Does that still exist? it up championship that was a cool level yeah that was a really cool level i love you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i really appreciate all the love and um everything and the support that's been really nice lately and um yeah.